everyone, this is Chris Prince from Slash Gear. Today we're taking a look at the newest version of iMovie. This is the one that's uh, released with OSX Mavericks. Now what we're going to do here is to make a very simple project. We've got a My Movie open. That's the basic title with the first sort of uh, kind you can open. We're going to go ahead and make a very simple clip. Now what we got here is the Slash Gear TV opening. Pop that in here, real simple. Goes down to the bottom rather than to the top. You can switch that, uh, have the, the working area down here and the top if you wish, but this is just the way we have it right now. Now, um, what you can see here is that we have all of our clips set up. These are automatically imported from our previous version of iMovie. Very simply, very quickly. Uh, what we're going to do here is go down to this little clip. This is a clip of a guy speaking at Ubisoft. Now, if I'm selecting all, by the way, if I clip, click on something and I select all, while in the previous version that may have uh, selected just the clip, here it ends up selecting all the clips at once. So if you want to select a whole clip, you just double click it. Go down to here. I'm dragging it down, by the way. Uh, between these two clips, I'm going to want to transition. So I'm going to go down to the lower left hand side, which transitions. These are all the same as they used to be, as far as we can tell so far. And we'll get, and get a cross zoom. We'll take that and drag it down here between these two clips. This also appears a lot simpler than it was before, before you'd have to put a little line there and you have to line it up really perfectly. Here you have it just drop and drop and go. And it immediately takes uh, takes effect there. Now I'm going to go back to the end of this clip. I could make these smaller as well. If I hold right here, I can make all the clips longer or shorter. If I make them short as possible, then it's a lot easier to get from one end to the other. Now I'm going to go back up to my event here. This is this event. And I'm going to go ahead and get that same intro right here, select the whole thing, put that down at the bottom. I'm not going to do anything special with it right now. We're going to go back down to transitions. This time I'll select something like a ripple. Maybe we'll do that. Take a ripple, toss it in here. And then it'll ripple through. Pretty cool. I can also do things like add titles. At the beginning here, what I'm probably going to do is add something pretty standard. These are appearing here pretty quickly. Uh, once I'm able to uh, select them, I'm going to go ahead and use the standard title right here. Drag this down to my first uh, area here. I'm going to go ahead and make this a little bit bigger so you can see it a little bit better as well. Uh, this. Uh, when I drop it down to this clip here, it's, it immediately goes over the entire uh, clip. Now, based on what we've got here, we have a slash here, name in the middle, and that's going to uh, sit right on top of it, so we don't want something like that. So what we're going to do here is just keep it highlighted and hit delete, and it deletes the whole thing. Now, what I would rather have is something more like uh, gravity lower third. Now this sort of lifts the text up, or makes it fall down like that, if I'd want something or, or instead of that, if I wanted to use a ticker, for example, that goes along the bottom like that. There's gradient black. There's all sorts of really simple stuff. We're going to end up using a standard lower third. Toss that in here like this. Now, if I drop it in there like that, it doesn't go across the whole clip there. It only goes across part of it. So I'm going to extend this out a little bit, change this so it says what we're going, what we're doing here. Just had the way to do that is to click the uh, click the purple clip down here. Click the uh, the uh, title that you just added. Click it once or click it twice. Whatever it doesn't really matter. And then double click the text over here in the preview window. What I'm going to do here is type in Ubisoft Tour Wall of Fame Chris Burns for Slash Gear. That's not the sort of title we'd usually have, but that's fine. So it'll stick in there like that, and it's immediately ready to go. See how it looks? Very simple, just sits on top there, and it'll disappear at the end of the clip like that. Now, once I want to be done with this clip, uh, I'd probably put another watermark in there and all that good stuff too, but uh, for now we're just going to stick with this. Instead of uh, just a uh, file saving it, we can still do that. We can go ahead and go to File and Share to all these different things, but we also have a share button right up here. 
there's uh, you can right here this button right here is import that imports projects into here so you can work with them create starts a new project and then share yeah, I'm hitting share these little buttons pop up now these are based on uh, which sort of apps I have on the computer that are compatible with this but right now we don't have many apps that are specifically compatible because a lot of, a lot of apps haven't worked with this yet so far so what I'm gonna do here is actually go to the theater now if I go share to the theater it'll take just a minute here and it'll open up into the theater this button right here is the theater so if you want to go into theater you can do it that way as well but uh, this theater allows you to have your movies set aside so you can watch them really simply like this uh, also from here you can go ahead and click this to uh, reveal an event so you can go back to your events and, and continue editing that way and you can rename it uh, play or delete it and upload to iCloud uh, you can also share from here straight to into the same sort of selections like email iTunes YouTube Facebook Vimeo CNN I report and file we're gonna go ahead and save it to a file very simple stuff it just tells you the compatibility uh, the size of it the estimated size of it and the uh, length of it and you can go ahead and say next or you can change the size of it right here you can do an SD uh, which is uh, 480p large 540p HD 720p or HD uh, 1080p we can't do that because the original file we had was only 720p so we'll sit with 720p for now there you have it